<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Dan Parrott has appeared on both sides of I-75. And he wanted you to know that. So here he is, Dan Parrott. Thank you, Drew Ball, for that fabulous introduction, which I wrote. Get ready for magic, mystery, and mayhem. Sorcery and secrets, psychic shenanigans, and ledger domain. Oh, oh the secrets part, that's the one everyone's interested in. The secrets are not on YouTube. The secrets are passed down from the secret libraries through the ancient books of magic. These books, oh, <laughs> sorry, I'm not allowed to take a real magic book out of Hogwarts library. library. Oh, a Samsung Galaxy owner's manual. <laughs> There's an appendix on the Dell computer and uh, lithium ion batteries too. So, I get warmed up, I have to warm up these fingers a little bit, for a little bit of sleight of hand. My name is Dan Garrett, I'm from Atlanta. I am a magician, a sleight of hand artist, a con man, a mentalist, and a nerd. I'm gonna demonstrate the last part for you. These, these fingers. Magicians lie to you a lot, <laughs> so you should be aware of that before we start. Now, a whiteboard. Keeper of the whiteboard. Uh, you, a complete stranger from out of the audience. His name is Joyce. Music, please. See, I don't have any music. I just love to screw with the sound man. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I knew I was a nerd when I was very young because I found that uh, back in the days when we weaned us off of slide rules, we had calculators. And I, I entered the, the number 7734 to the calculator, and it said L. But not, that was really for a kid. That was quite a cathartic experience. And then uh, I, I know that the, I entered the number uh, uh, 5318008. I turned it upside down, and it said boobies. <laughs> That's when I knew I was a nerd. So Joyce, we're going to have you write some numbers down. We're going to use a number deck. These are just flashcards for educational purposes. And uh, I'll let you see that the, uh, the cards are random cards, usually ranging. There are numbers on both sides. They range from uh, approximately 1 to 300, more or less. And so I'm going to have someone choose one of these cards. Uh, anyone trustworthy, Joyce, that we can choose? All right. What's your name? Frankie. Frankie, you've chosen the card. There should be two numbers, one on each side. We're going to pick uh, the smaller number, hopefully, is the easier. The smaller number, a two digit number. Uh oh. So they're, they're both three digit numbers. This may not be as uh, <laughs> easy to do. Larry V. Okay. <laughs> uh, but I'm going to try it anyway. So let's pick the, uh, the smaller of the two numbers. And I'd like you to write very large in the top half of that the number that you chose, the, the smaller of the two. No, you can text it over to me if you like. So you, want, you say it out, yeah, that'd be good. 153, right, 153 on the top there. Okay, and uh, on, underneath that, what's the other number, just in case 153 is too tough for me? 177, okay, 177. So here it is.
at least I hope the first half of the people can read the number, and 177. So we're going to go for it. I have to program the deck. I'm going to try for 153, Joyce. So give me a moment here. Turn that so they can see the numbers. It's easier than the sound guy doesn't need it. You don't have any real sound cues, don't worry. The number 12, an even dozen. 66 plus 12 is 78. Plus 20 is 98 plus 55. 98 and 55 is 153. Let's keep going. 25, 50, that's 75, 16, 91, 91 and 62. Okay, I, I see that juggling is math. You guys have been, this is easier than your passing patterns. I'm keeping up with it. 56, 22, 65, and 10, 153. Pick a little column at random and see if there's any mistakes. 60. Plus 15, that's 75. 52, that's 127. Plus 26 is 153. Every column adds up to your chosen number, 153. That's why I'm a nerd. But I didn't stop there. You see, you can take the rows also and add across. 12 plus 25 plus 56 plus 60 also adds up to 153. This row, 66, 50, 22, 15. Check out a row at random and make sure they all add up, all columns, all rows add up to 153. This is what's known as a perfect magic square with your particular number. That's why I'm here. Uh, yeah, but I, I didn't stop there. We could try the diagonals as well. 12 plus 50 plus 65, 26. 153. 60, 22, 16, and 55. Take out your phones, take a picture, check the math. Make sure it's all. Try the four in the middle. 50, 16, 65, and 22. All add up to 153. The four corners, 153. The four in this quadrant, the four in this quadrant, check out one at random. Four down here, four down here, 65, 10, 26, 52. And every number is different on the board. There are no duplicate numbers. All these combinations of four add up to your number, 153. That's why I'm We have another number, but uh, we, we chose the, the other. We don't need to. Thanks for your help, Joyce. Don't worry, I, I won't take so long to do the next one because 177 is much more difficult. Fortunately for all of us and the timekeeper, I did it already. <laughs> 92 plus 25 plus 51 plus 9 is 177. 1 plus 59 plus 22 plus 95, 177. This column, this column, all add up to 177. This row, this row, this row. No one's taken a picture yet. <laughs> every row, every column adds up to the second number, 177. The four corners, 177. The two diagonals, 177. The four in the middle, the four in this quadrant, 177. The four in this quadrant, the four in this quadrant, the four in this quadrant. These two plus these two, these plus two, these two. The pan diagonals, pan diagonals. All that up to 177, and that's why I'm a nerd. Yeah. It was great. My name is Dan Garrett, and uh, I hope you enjoyed yourself tonight. I've had a great time being here.
and Derek. I've known him for a long time, but I'm not sure how well I know him. 